everyone. My name is Hector Mendoza. Uh, today I want to talk about Xactimate and uh, specifically the Break and Vertex uh, tool. Here's my information if you ever would like to get some answers about Xactimate or Symbility. Uh, here's some uh, videos that are already posted in YouTube. There's some more, some more. Okay, so we're going to talk about the vertex and the. Uh, I'm going to get me uh, some canvas here in my Xactimate. <clears throat> so this tool is right here: the break and the vertex. And they go in conjunction with your control key. Okay, so <clears throat> so if I had a room, and there's two ways to copy a room. I can hit Control C, Control V, and draw a room. Right. Another way, another way I could actually copy rooms is if I hold my Control key. And click and drag and just release, click, drag, release, or I can just click, click anywhere as long as I'm holding my control key, it'll load that room. Okay. So, one other way that you can make a, a copy of a room would be. Like this. I hold my control key. Here, let me start all over. So I have this room. I'm going to hold my control key. Then I'm going to select a wall, specifically that little dime, uh, square white triangle. And if I click and drag, I'm left clicking while I'm holding my command key, and it creates an additional room. Now, if I click left click without holding the control key and move that wall it just makes it bigger same way here see it just makes that room bigger now i'm going to do i'm going to hold my control key on this left left one when i click and drag look what happens it creates a new uh, a new room so <clears throat> The break tool and the vertex tool are other tools that are uh, important when you're duplicating things. Now, one thing to remember: <clears throat> if I, you know, if I hit room and I click room, the room is going to have these preferences. They're preloaded preferences, and those preferences can be changed. But you see, it's an eight foot with a zero height. Uh, the floor height and the wall thickness is four. Okay, so so every time I click on roof, that's what it creates. Now let's say that I went in and changed this particular room to be a ten foot room, and let's say that I uh, um, and, and instead of it, okay, right now it's a box. Okay, you see. Uh, so let's uh, view the uh, <clears throat> your uh, ceiling. Okay, so you see that ceiling is just a box, right? Now, if I went in and changed that box into a slope, I, I can just type S L O P, or you can use the pull down menu. I I I like using just type in slope. So now, if you look at this room. See, it sloped from eight feet at the left, the uh, smallest wall, to 12 feet, the highest wall. Okay, now, so if I went in and selected it and I hit Control C and then I hit Control V, now, see, it's going to keep that. Okay, because that's the one I'm, I'm selecting. Another thing I can do, you know, I can 
control C for copy, hit control V. This time, I don't want a 12 by 12. I can just click and let's say I want a uh, 12 by 6. We're not going to try. Yeah, that's going to be close enough. Okay. Oh, it, it, okay. Now you hit F3. See? It's holds the preferences of that other one. Okay. Now, so remember that about copying. And another thing. So, if I go in here, I'll hold my control key, and I'll make another room. It's also going to keep those preferences because... That's the thing, when your option copying is going to hold all the preferences. So, you see, same thing if I go to the bottom. If I hold my control key and select, see, now. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're copying and pasting and doing everything. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so remember, if I click on this little white box, I make my uh, rooms different size. Now, let me show you another thing. You see the, this little red little diamonds on the left-hand corners of each one of them? Those, if you try to move the, the roof, uh, the room, look what happens. See? So you got to be careful which things you're uh, selecting. Okay. Uh, so anytime you see a red diamond, it actually changes into like a diamond. Or not just a diamond, but, you know, it, it, it changes uh, the uh, angles of those uh, rooms. <clears throat> so uh, now you're... Now we're going to talk about the vertex and the break tool. So the vertex. So you see right now, if I grab this thing and I move it up, you see it moves the whole wall, right? Now this time, uh, let me hit Control C. This time I'm going to hit vertex. It's the V, you know, the, the button V. So I'm going to hit V for vertex. I'm going to click here, uh, you know, like in, in, in the middle. So uh, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to click there. Now, now you got three diamonds at the top, right? I can move any of those diamonds and alter my roof, uh, room. So first, I'll move down here, and it's just going to move uh, that upper right-hand corner up. So watch what it does. See? Because I place a vertex right here, right in here, I put a vertex. Then uh, when, when, when I uh, move that corner right here, it, it enlarges everything to that direction. Okay, so that's your vertex. Now we're going to talk about the break tool, okay? This one right here, and you, all you have to do is you just type B for break. Now if I click here, it's going to um, create two white boxes. If you see three white boxes, you're not going to be able to do nothing. Hopefully somewhere in this video is going to do that to us, and that way I can show you. But anyway... At this point, if you look uh, right here, that's the center point. You see, right here, if I move this over to the right, you know, let's say that I, I move, oh, sorry about that. Here. Uh, right tool. So, so, if I move this guy over to the right from this little line, Till this right here is going to move everything. Or let's say that from this line to this line, we have another white box. If I move this, this whole line will move to the left. So let's start with this one right here. 
See, it didn't create a new room. It made the room bigger. So now, so let's say that I wanted another little area that wanted to go up further. So if I hit B again, click here, click on this box, then it moves it over. Same thing here. So if I hit my B for break tool, I'll click here, or this time I'm going to offset it, you know. So you see, uh, you'll see 3 feet 11 inches. So if I click here, and I move this down, see this right here? That, that, that was, you know, the reason it shows 4 feet is because it's accounting for the wall. That's why it wasn't three feet eleven inches like we were seeing earlier. Now you could always change it by clicking, moving over, and just putting three comma eleven. So that's how you deal with your uh, your break tools and your vertex. So while I'm here, let, let, let me let me do some more just so that you know. Uh, so I'm going to hit V for vertex, and I'm going to click here, and then I'm just going to go straight up, and, you see, and it created like a diamond looking figure. Or, now, if I wanted to straighten this wall for, it from, for, uh, for this thing to go from here to this corner, I would have to just simply grab this red uh, diamond and just move it over right there and it'll straighten it up. One thing I didn't talk about is let's say that you wanted this wall to be curved. If you go to your preferences right here, uh, uh, properties, and you see right here where it says arch wall and you hit yes and hit enter. Now, that wall, you, you can't move it. The only thing you can do is make it that way or that way. And you can, let's say, and that's from the center to, to the end, you can tell it to be six inches. Or, you know, you can tell it to be one inch. When you're there and you're measuring, you know, so it would be one feet from right here at a, you know, so basically, if you had a, a line from here to here, it's, you know, you'd be moving uh, one inch from this corner, oh, shift key, from that corner, uh, from here to here, okay? Okay, so, Let me see what else uh, I can tell you about the vertex. Uh, I, I I wasn't even going to talk about all this other stuff, but this is such an easy uh, thing to talk about, uh, the vertex. That's basically what that vertex will do for you. Remember, you know, if, if you click on this white diamond, it moves over. But if you hold your control key, it'll make it an additional room. Okay, guys, that's all that I wanted to talk to you about the uh, break tool and the vert tool, uh, vertex tool. Uh, if there's something you want to want me to explain about Xactimate, don't hesitate to call me, email me at Hector Mendoza Justin at yahoo.com. You can email me, uh, ask me for my phone number, I'll give it to you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it.